Two of British Royal Navy aged and retiring Type 23 frigate warships are to be offered to the naval force of Greece, Hellenic Navy. To help Babcock International win a multi-billion pound deal with Greece to build new frigates and upgrade its fleet. It is understood that Britain will throw in HMS Monmouth and HMS Montrose, two 30-year-old Type 23 frigate warships vessels, in a proposed deal to equip the Greek naval forces with the British Royal Navy newest class of frigate, the Type 31, in the face of perceived Turkish aggression. Babcock is the Resyth-based warship builder and military support contractor that has been commissioned by the Ministry of Defence to build five cut-price Type 31 general-purpose frigates for the Royal Navy. Supported by the United Kingdom government, Babcock has been fine-tuning its comprehensive and compelling program to provide the Hellenic Navy with a Hydra-class upgrade program, an interim frigate capability and four Babcock Arrowhead 140 frigates. Babcock Industrial Strategy will see it support the modernization of Greek shipbuilding facilities, supported by a partnership proposal with Greek industry to develop a local workforce and transfer knowledge and technology in the wider domestic shipbuilding and ship repair supply chain all done as part of the company's commitments to Greece. The HMS Montrose is a Type 23 or Duke class of frigates in service with the British Royal Navy. She was laid down in November 1989 by Yarrow shipbuilders on the Clyde, and was launched on 31 July 1992. She was commissioned into service in June 1994. HMS Montrose V of the frigate fleet, has highly sensitive suite of radars which allows the ship to track aircraft and missiles up to 120 miles, and a missile system with a 20-plus mile range. She is equipped with sonar to detect submarines and a helicopter armed with torpedoes and depth charges which means she can take the fight to submarines many miles away from the ship. HMS Monmouth was the 6th Duke Class Type 23 frigate of the Royal Navy. She was the 7th ship to bear the name and was launched by Lady Eaton in 1991, being commissioned two years later. The Type 23 or Duke Class frigate was designed to conduct anti-submarine warfare missions, but the ship is equipped with an additional vertical-launched Seawolf naval surface-to-air missile system and the Boeing Harpoon surface-to-surface -surface missile to be used as anti-surface warfare ship. The ship is armed with 132-cell Seawolf GWS.26 VLS canisters for able to fire Seawolf with range 1 to 10 km, or Sea Scepter missiles 1 to 27 km, two quad harpoon launchers, two twins 12.75 in Stingray torpedo tubes, one BAE Systems 4.5-inch MK8 naval gun, two 30mm DS-30M MK2 guns, or DS-30B guns, two miniguns, and four general-purpose machine guns. Over the last three months Babcock has engaged more than 100 suppliers and following recent meetings led by the British company's group chief executive, David Lockwood, at both the Scaramangus and Elifsina shipyards, Babcock has continued its previous in-country supplier engagements. In all, one-to-one -one discussions have been held with more than 20 Greek companies. These discussions, covering detailed scopes of supply, technical requirements, commercial processes and strategic alignment, are part of a coordinated program of industry participation with Thales United Kingdom and MBDA United Kingdom, and are at an advanced stage with supplier agreements expected to be in place imminently. Senior members of the Babcock team will be at DEFEA, the International Defence and Security Exhibition, to speak with delegates about the company's global frigate experience that is perfectly aligned to Hellenic Navy requirements. Will Erith, Chief Executive Marine, Babcock said, Babcock will bring a wide-ranging program of technology transfer and focused support options to enable Greek industry to construct the Arrowhead 140 frigate in Greece. Our team are passionate about this project and we have first-class support from the United Kingdom government and our partners, alongside real enthusiasm from Greek industry to work with us should we be successful in our bid. DEFEA provides a fantastic platform for us to continue these discussions and to build our burgeoning industrial base for this project. We are looking forward to the exhibition. This includes the development of the Arrowhead 140 as the United Kingdom Royal Navy new Type 31 frigate, more than a decade of design, build and support to the United Kingdom Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carrier program, the development of offshore patrol vessels for the Irish Naval Service and a wide range of international projects for small to medium-sized vessels. Babcock will also outline its through life support expertise including its responsibility for the United Kingdom Royal Navy Type 23 class frigates life extension program, and services to the Royal Australian Navy MECO frigates, credentials that will enable a successful Hydra class upgrade and increased ship availability and readiness for both the MECO and the British interim frigate solution.
In addition the new Arrowhead 140 frigate offers a configuration for the Hellenic Navy that meets all of the capability requirements at a highly competitive cost. Babcock announced it had signed a tripartite memorandum of implementation with the Ukrainian and British governments to revitalize the Eastern European nation navy and shipbuilding industry. The need for a new frigate was among the requirements mentioned by Babcock as being part of discussions, although the Type 31 was not specifically mentioned. Britain originally referred to the ship as the Type 31E, with the E standing for export, but that suffix was recently dropped. The ship's export opportunities emerged as the Defence Committee held one of several planned evidence sessions on naval procurement ahead of the government publication of a much-awaited refresh of its national shipbuilding strategy, announced in 2017. A Babcock-led team secured a contract from the British Ministry of Defence in 2019 to build five Type 31 frigates at an average cost of £250 million at its Resyth Yard in Scotland. The warship recently completed its whole ship critical design review and is on track to be handed over to the Royal Navy in 2025. Known as the Arrowhead 140, it is based on the Danish-designed Ivor Huitfeldt class frigate and is set to partially replace the aging Type 23 frigate fleet. The first three of eight Type 26 anti-submarine warfare frigates are under construction at BAE Systems to replace the remainder of the Type 23 fleet. The British shipbuilder leading the construction of the new Type 31 frigate for the Royal Navy says it is already pursuing five live campaigns to secure exports for the general-purpose warship. Greece, Indonesia and Poland are currently the front-runners among the five live campaigns being chased by the British, David Lockwood, Babcock International Chief Executive, told the Parliamentary Defence Committee. David Lockwood, Babcock International's Chief Executive, said the Type 31 was a serious contender for the Greek frigate requirement. The executive was part of a team of high-ranking British officials and industry executives recently in Greece for presentations to the government on the Type 31. The Babcock boss named the potential export customers in response to lawmakers expressing doubts that the warship will achieve the hoped-for success in the marketplace amid competition from France, Italy and South Korea.